Hi! Here goes the solution to a 7Q kata on Code Wars. This one is called Mumbling. This time, no story, no theory. The examples below show you how to write function accum. I assume that's a short for accumulate. Accum A B C D A dash B B dash C C C dash D D D D. Okay, I see what's happening here. We have the first letter from the string capitalized, then we have the second letter from the string capitalized followed by it um, lowercase and a total of two times, then three times, then four times. So what I'm going to need is, I'm going to do a for loop through s, for c in s, that'll be c for character, and also, I'm going to want to know what number of the loop I'm in, so I'm going to add enumerate s, because that's a nice thing you can do in Python, for i, comma c in enumerate s. So what do I need now? Um, one special case is what if it's a lowercase letter? It still goes capital in the um, in the end. Well, another special case is how am I going to handle the fact that we don't want a dash on the last one? The easiest thing might be to just cut the last bit of the string out at the end. That's probably what I'll do. Okay. Um, I'm going to make an output variable equal to the empty string and output um, Oh, interesting. I'm going to need another loop, aren't I? Uh, for j in range of i, and this is going to get a little, this is starting to feel complicated, so I'm going to print i, i, j, j, just to make sure that things are behaving the way that I want, the, the way that I expect them to. 1, 0, 2, 2, um, Okay, so here's the first problem. We need to do i plus 1 in range of i plus 1 so that there we got 0 and 0, then 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. Okay. Now we, have, we can break this into the first time that we cat a letter if j equal 0. Output equals output. I can just do plus equals. Output plus equals c dot upper. I think that's a method. Else output plus equals c dot lower. Oh, well, uh, um. But I have to think about the case that it's the last one. No, I don't have to think about that. C dot lower. And then when we exit this iteration, so back to this level of indentation, then we need to say output plus equals the dash character. And return output. Is that is that going to do it, or if I have or have I made a mistake? Uh, so apparently, I've done something wrong. What did I what did I do wrong? Oh, I forgot I forgot that I had to. This is a simple fix. I I can do slice notation to do everything up to the minus one index. Test. Basic test. Basic test results. Basic tests pass. And um, I'll take a moment now before I attempt, because I assume it's going to, I assume there aren't any tricks in the full test cases for this one. Or no, I can, I can go ahead and hit attempt. It won't take me away from the thing. Basic tests, 120 of 100. You pass all the tests. OK. I'll talk through how this works. You may, you may have picked it up as I was working it, but I didn't explain all of my thought process necessarily. So let's. Let's talk it through. 
I have accumulate s with output is the empty string. Then I have a, a loop, the first of my four loops, which gives me access to c, the current member of s as we loop through it, and i, the index of s when we enumerate it starting from zero. Then for there, I knew I have another loop where we start at j, and it's I, I'm accessing the ver that index i. So for example, on the first iteration, when i is 0, this is 0 plus 1. And range 1, um, I think, gives us, what does, it gives us something that's 1, because it's just the 0 case. And in this loop, um, this can happen, this range i plus 1 can, can be 0, or it can be 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And there, here, here we see that I've given it, for the first one, if j is 0, we add the upper case version of character c to the output. And otherwise, we add the lower case of character c, character c to the output and then we add the dash to the output so that matches up with we go through i is i is 0 j is 0 j equals 0 so output equals c dot upper sure that gives us that then we exit out of this loop and we add that output plus equal dash so we got it's just that character um, it's going to work similarly for b except that when j is not 0, we're going to add that lowercase, which is that second b. OK. I feel like I done explained it enough. Let's submit and see if there's anything interesting in the uh, solutions that we have here. It's taking a moment. That's clever. I might take a. I might take a, make a. Let's let's um. Let's take apart this one and talk about why it works. Let's try again. Test and we'll see that it does work. But why does it work? Um, when I see things in a whole in one line like this, I like to break it apart into pieces and one. One way to do that is to go from left to right. So, you know what, no, this is gonna be another video. I'm gonna do this in another video. Hang tight and I'll have that next video up soon if you want to see it, otherwise, thanks for watching.